Ryan's taking over the coffee montage and I'm scared. <laughs> but I need to go get ready, so. This is going to be the best montage ever. everybody i hope you can hear me over the absolutely delightful roadworks that are going on outside but this morning i well let's let's address it i managed to get ready in half an hour uh which i'm very proud of because that is uh not normally how long i take to get ready and now i don't know why it takes me so long if i'm honest but i just got ready for a day in london i'm going for lunch with the girls and then i'm also going out for dinner with some friends as well i'm just literally packing my bag getting ready to go i've picked literally the most basic outfit for today because i literally you know when you are just in such a rush you can't think about what you need to be wearing that was me today literally gone for yesterday's hair uh if you've seen my previous video the what I got them for Christmas you will know that my hair looks like this but better yesterday and uh yeah all black outfit I'm just packing my things this bag is such a mess honestly literally the most random assortment of things here but I just got sent a new fragrance this morning from by Killian and it's so lovely this video is very kindly sponsored by them so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the fragrance now and then I'm going to pack all of this stuff into my bag <laughs> I literally have the most random assortment of things. This is my life. Uh, this is what I use to get my footage off of my camera onto my computer. I literally don't go anywhere without this. And I've got spare batteries. I finally have a whole set of charged batteries. Lip products, these I will link in the info box below. These are the only lip products I am wearing this month. So everyone that's been asking what's on my lips, that is it. And a spare body. Um, I'm just wearing a jumper at the moment, but I know later on I'm probably gonna just wanna have a body and not have a whole piece of like knitwear on um so yeah i'm packing that in my bag as well and then i am going to be packing this little mini vicolian fragrance and i'm going to talk to you about these now wow i can't pick that up okay yes cool so this is the by Killian Fun Things Always Happen After Sunset fragrance. It's part of the My Kind of Love collection that they do. It's available on ASOS at the moment. It smells so delicious. It has notes of blackcurrant, lychee and rose. It literally is the most delicious thing. Like it actually smells like I want to eat it. So they sent me that and then they also sent me a little travel size, which I live for travel sizes of perfumes. Brands do not do this enough. It is goals, look. So I've got a little one that I can take it with me in my handbag today. I'm so excited like i said both of these are available on asos i will link to them in the info box below i am just so excited i love you know you guys know fragrances are just my dream i'm so excited and i haven't put any perfume on today because i wanted to wear this one. Oh, i literally smell so great it smells so great that's me spraying my sleeve just in case anyone was wondering it smells so good so good and i love the bottles of these they're really unique literally so cute i actually have one of these already i'll show you um so this can go and sit with my other one in my dressing room there you go so i've got that's my camera lens this is my life there we go so we have fun things always happen after sunset and then kissing burns 6.4 calories a minute want to work out i love that um so yeah these are so cute love them so after sunset kissing i need to extend this collection like i need a whole collection of these that would be so cute so that little bottle is gonna live in my dressing room and this 
even littler bottle it's gonna live in my handbag which is so great because normally i kid you not there is a full size like big glass perfume in my handbag so this is literally so goals going in bye and then i'm just gonna put all of my other random things in my bag and hope that i haven't forgotten anything like honestly the girls wanted to do lunch at 12 and i was like 12 is a push for me if i'm being very honest which is really bad but getting to london pre one is not the vibe for me i like i like to you know get really calmly in the morning and uh the moment when I'm not sleeping, that's not a thing. So when I'm not sleeping, I get up later and then getting ready calmly is not a thing because I have no time. So yeah. Is anyone, I feel like everyone is just sleeping badly this time of year. Is it Christmas stress? What is that? I don't even know. Anyway, turn the Christmas tree lights off. My lovely boyfriend is gonna give me a lift to the station, which I'm very happy about because I am probably running late right now. I've spent too long talking about perfume, not enough time actually going where I need to go. And I haven't picked a coat yet, so that's good. I think I have too many coats, to be honest. Oh, don't know which one to wear. Jeez. Mm. It's really cold at the moment, guys. Like, getting dressed is just difficult. I just want to be warm. I keep going for this one. It's all I ever wear. And I feel like I'm just wearing the same coat over and over and over again. Oh, what should I wear? Oh, the Christmas tree's out. Wouldn't it be a dream to have a house big enough to have a tree this tall? That would be crazy. Oh, it was very nice and gave me a lift to the station. So I am actually on time. So happy. I don't think I would have made this train either, but it was delayed. So everything is just coming up Mill House today and I'm, I'm not mad. So happy. Also this coat. It's so snug. I haven't worn this in ages because it's actually been like too warm to wear it. This was like, this is a proper winter coat. So thick, like so much thicker than my misguided ones. I just love it. The colour's so cute. Yeah, let's get on the train now. It's going to be so weird. Like basically it takes me so long to get to London. I don't bother having breakfast. So I'm basically going to be having pasta for breakfast. Another thing that I am not mad about murder some spaghetti right now. just finished up lunch with the girls well actually it's quite a while ago now i finished up my lunch with them and then me and victoria just went and hung out took some pics had a catch up i showed her some of the videos of houses that i've been viewing and yeah just a really nice little catch up it's been a nice afternoon i'm now i've walked from the oxford circus area to uh i'm basically by victoria now it was just quite a long walk but i had extra time so i thought i'd do the healthy thing and walk uh, versus like getting on the tube or getting a cab or anything so yeah it's been nice just you forget how far it is and now my toes feel like they're bleeding because i'm wearing pointy toed shoes um yeah i'm gonna go meet lauren now i've got a little while until she arrives but i'm gonna sort my face and hair out and then we're going for dinner with mark ferris and cheyenne and i'm so excited to see them oh i'm so looking forward to dinner it's gonna be great i've never seen my song <laughs> my favorite <laughs> oh. Say hello. Yay. Oh it's my Disney boy. Disney reunion. <laughs> I literally have barely vlogged today. It's making me sad. Oh, yeah. You're doing well though. But you know when you've got a day of like seeing everyone, like the seeing everyone is real. Yeah. And I just feel like I've been talking and not talking to the camera and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, but I have wine. 
We have the food. Oh my god. So good. So we have come to a new restaurant called Soap. So it's by Victoria Station. Very good. I like the wine. The food looks good. I'll give you my full verdict when I'm on the train home. forgot to put perfume on and I'm ever so grateful that this was in my handbag. Why is my life such a rush? Where's my hair? Look at me. I mean, I was like, Lily, are you ready now? Can you come now? I have no hair. <laughs> We've just been for breakfast this morning. It's How you nice. doing? Good. Yeah, it was really yummy. Actually, really glad we did breakfast because I think otherwise I wouldn't have managed to have lunch before I've got this house viewing, and I would just be really hungry, just like walking be around. Angry like, I'm viewing. <laughs> angry viewing. <laughs> Is it mortgageable? Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Why is it like this? <laughs> you guys aren't gonna understand. One day you will. And maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I think. Part of me is like, do we hope? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so we've been brunch this morning and yeah, I've got a house viewing in a little bit. There's road works going on outside the house still, so I can't wait to go home. Already had an argument with the men outside because they wouldn't let anyone in the building. I got beaked out. <laughs> Before we got beaked out, it's literally carnage. It's at, I was like, what is going on? It's too early for this. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that breakfast was also great because I'm still not feeling great after last night. I had way too much wine. I don't even know what I actually vlogged last night. I'm pretty sure there was me doing some drunk dancing at one point. Um, so yeah, let's fix my little rose head and uh hopefully i can carry on with my day without feeling too sorry for myself now but yeah off to house viewings pray pray for me I'm doing something with my dad he's coming with me we never do things together you're gonna be it's bonding weird. over the view bonding time <laughs> yeah i'm scared <laughs> i'm actually scared my mom's gonna show him this he's gonna be like what the fuck is she talking about? I'm all ready for my house viewing. We are currently having an absolute drama with the front door and with the building works outside. So I cannot wait to get out of this building right now and just get out into the wider world where it's not drilling and postmen that are shouting at me because they can't get through the door all the time. It's just, it's one of those days. But I thought I'd show you my outfit before I go. So I'm on the way to a house viewing and I've had this jumper um, in my on my rail in my wardrobe room for a while and I just hadn't got around to wearing it. And I tried it on today and just threw it on with some trainers because I was just like, I just want to be comfy but look kind of semi nice, but comfy. Comfy was very important. And um, yeah, I threw this on, I was like, oh my God, why have I not worn this before? This is actually really lovely. It's from Topshop. It's uh, like a jumper dress, high neck, not too high neck though. I'm so sick of high necks at the moment. I wore one yesterday and I just felt like I was like being strangled the whole day. But this one, I actually, it just falls loose, but I've taken a tie from a coat, uh, which is basically like a similar-ish material, but like slightly more, felty but they match perfectly in terms of like the um the look of them but yeah so they match really really well and i've just tied this around the waist just to give it a little bit more shape um just because i felt like with my figure it didn't it wasn't doing anything for me having it full straight so yeah i just tied that uh around the waist and i think it works really nicely i've thrown on my trainers with it because that's what i do with so so many of my dresses just throw trainers on with it and i've got an umbrella ready to go because it's just started pelting it down i've actually had to come back in to get the umbrella and thought i would film this clip whilst i'm at it and i've also got a leather jacket 
kit here that I'm gonna throw on over the top, even though I'm boiling right now in the building, but I know when I get outside, I'm just gonna be a bit, little bit chilly, so I'm gonna take that with me. I've just taken a leather jacket instead of like a full-on coat because I just feel like it might be a bit too much. I mean, we'll see, I'll probably be freezing, but it's actually, it doesn't feel too, too chilly today. So I'm hoping this and the leather jacket will be enough. We're on our way to grab a coffee before we go to this house viewing. So we are a little bit, why is my camera doing this? It's so bright. God, when you're inside, you weren't doing this, you little shit. Um, it's such a little shit. It's just like, just help a girl out. Just be the brightness that I need you to be. Yeah, what was I saying? I'm going for a coffee on the way to this house viewing because we've got time. Um, yeah, and I think we just both need to zen. We've got lots of video deadlines coming up at the moment and I feel like I'm just stressing out. Hey, how are you feeling? I was feeling okay until... <laughs> I started piecing things together. <laughs> Lauren's oh. working on the top outfits at the moment. I feel like we need to swap. Yeah, yes. yeah. What a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what a good idea. We'll swap. We will oh. swap. I think most of our working life just involves us like working on a laptop each and then going, swap. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. It's funny though. I like it. And they're both set up like almost exactly the same apart from the way we both scroll. scroll. <laughs> and then I'm like doing it. I'm like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah. If anyone wants to know what I'm like off camera, that <laughs> very tiny snippet. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> That's me all the time off camera. I also realised I forgot to show you my jewellery when I was showing you my outfit the other day, so I'm going to show you now. I've got these this ring, I've got two, one on each hand from Olivia Burton, and I'm obsessed with them at the moment. You know the deal with this one, that's from Versace ages ago, Olivia Burton, Zara, and then I've also got this really gorgeous bracelet, which if you saw my vlog the other day, you will know this is from Olivia Burton. I'm trying to get it to focus, it's not happening. This is the bracelet, I think it's really cute. I really like it over the black um, dress, very, very cute. No earrings today, because I put them all in my bag yesterday, and now I can't find them. Update everyone on that delightful experience. My dad can talk for England. This is where I get it from. He's very knowledgeable though. He yeah. Like the E switch and the blah, and I was like, the wall? I just got given a load of information about building and structure. It was like a crash course in a very small amount of time. So thanks dad, my head now feels like it's about to explode. But yeah, that was a whole like family shindig. Like my mom came, my dad was there, my Lauren was there. <laughs> We're heading back to my parents now and we're gonna have like a little debrief because this was basically um, one of those situations where I was like, dad, I need you to tell me whether this house is a good purchase or not. Um, does anyone else do that? I would love to know your experiences of like how you decided on like buying a house because I know there's a lot of you that have messaged me that are like, oh, it's so nice to see you doing this. Like, oh, I just bought a house, blah, blah. I would love to know your experiences to so do. Let me know. It might not be the one. I might keep looking, I'm not sure. So we shall see. But it was very educational regardless because it was just me walking around telling my dad all the things I would like to do and then him going yes, no, yes, no and then telling me why and I was just like, wow, I feel like I've learned so much. So thanks dad. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna go debrief now so I will speak to you in a little bit. That took so much longer than I ever expected. So if Vlogmas day six, which is the top outfits didn't go live on the Wednesday and it went live on a Thursday instead. This is this is why. Good morning, everybody. So we had a near miss of a Susie meltdown last night. I really tried to vlog and finish this video and it did not happen. I just like was sat looking at the camera like, not my finest vlogging moment. There comes a point in Vlogmas where you kind of like, the first week is like, yeah, I fucking love this. Like, I want to do this all the time. This is great. Just love everything about it. And then your actual life starts to catch up with you. And like, I just had an evening where I had to do absolutely everything, every work related thing, every home chore related thing, every personal related thing. And I was just like, I can't do all of this. The gym is one of my favorite pastimes and the gym was suggested and I just nearly cried because I was just like, I can't, my brain is so fuzzy right now and so overwhelmed that I just can't even fathom this. So um, I literally had to like take the evening off, eat a pizza, watch some Bake Off and just kind of like not do anything 
with my brain because it was fully like dead and yeah after all the house stuff the house stuff was crazy i feel like i went for a second viewing on a place and i just really for the second time like the first time i've i really vibed with it i still really like it but going round with my dad who has worked in various trades so he's like the expert at this stuff it just kind of made me, I saw it with his eyes and how he would look at it. Like even things that he wasn't pointing out, I was like looking at things like, well that also needs doing and that one he'd be doing. And it got to a point where I was like, this is, I already thought it was a big job to get, to begin with. And then it kind of got bigger. <laughs> and then like extensions were being like discussed. And I was just like, no, I don't think I can do this. So it's just kind of made me reevaluate like, what i want it's actually been great because it's opened my eyes up before i was quite like rigid in what i wanted which i think is always the way with me i go very like that's what i want i know exactly what i want and then actually just if you have a bit more of an open mind sometimes you kind of like open up doors that you hadn't seen before so yeah a few more positive things there might be some more viewings next week but yeah just like you know when you think you're going in one direction and then you're like oh no we're going up here Okay. Yeah, and there was just a lot to think about and thinking whether I want to like do something long term or short term and just kind of making those decisions and it's still just going to be an ongoing thing. Uh, but I think my brain just couldn't hack all of that and then all of my like deadlines that were looming and all of the stuff I needed to do, like my to-do list is out of control and just more things are being added. So yeah, the next week is going to be really interesting, guys. But I thought this morning... I'll catch you up on that just kind of explain a little bit because i feel like this vlog has been very sporadic this week and it does get to a point sometimes when i'm quite overwhelmed where things do get a bit more sporadic and i feel quite like down at the moment because my brain is just kind of working on so many things and <laughs> i feel like emotionally i'm shutting down so yeah i just wanted to kind of explain that i'm just going to take the rest of the day off plow through my to-do list and i'll be back with you blogging again tomorrow but before i go i thought i'd show you some of my stuff from the lorna lux in the style range arrived i've been waiting for this to arrive they arrived in two separate shipments and i've been so excited for it to arrive so i could show you and it was just taking a little while but very excited because it's here this dress was the one i was most excited about i'm really hoping it fits my height well it's so cute i just think this would be one of those perfect like everything dresses oh how cute is that oh my god i think we're gonna love it oh yes so excited i think this could be a winner you know i actually think it could i love the fact that it's got an elasticated waist so it will kind of sit like on my actual waist like you can kind of move it based on that it's like a little bit like loose it's meant to be loose around here so you can like wake up if you are smaller and it will just sit on your actual waist and i just think that's perfect so it should fit my height i'm so excited <sighs> literally that was the one item that i was like i need that like i really need it this is one that lauren and i both bought i really hope we end up wearing it at the same time at some point because i want a picture of us twinning this would be so cute but it's so pretty it's like a shift dress it's got shoulder pads which i love i love a shoulder pad Ooh. Oh, that's so cute. I think it might have, oh yeah. Has a tie waist. I love a tie waist at the moment. Like I'm really obsessed. Uh, oh God, I'm just so excited to try this on. I think it's gonna catch the light really beautifully. Oh yes, so excited. It might be a little bit long. That's my one concern, but I think because of the tie waist, you can kind of like tie and hoist. I don't know if that makes sense. So like tie and hoist <laughs> that's what i mean by hoist then we have this i accidentally ordered two of this i'm pretty pissed off i've been doing that a lot recently i need to concentrate more when i'm like ordering things but it's like a v-neck velvet dress really really beautiful this one might not be my favorite but i wanted to try it anyway and then we have this dress this is the only one i remember the name of i think i think it's this one it's the hannah dress it's so cute it's like a velvety white dress with puff sleeves it's smock style i just think it's so pretty i think this might be like i wear for christmas day wear my white loungewear like in the morning and wear that during the day um slash like eveningy when um, i actually have to like we're going between family houses i think and then wear another one of my white loungewear sets on boxing day i might show you uh in a 
future vlogmas like my maybe i'll do like a what i wore over christmas would you guys like to see that i'd love that actually i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that i'm so excited oh i need a christmas eve dress as well i'm gonna have to consult with lauren because she might be wearing this on christmas eve yeah i'm so excited i'm so excited for christmas eve oh it's just gonna be so nice yeah, I'm gonna film a what I wore over Christmas. That'll be really cute. This one might be a Christmas Eve contender, to be honest. So excited about this. I'm sorry, I'm doing such a shit job at holding things up. Like, I just realized that white dress, like, you could not see what that was. Yeah, I'm gonna try things on now and kind of try and show you. Look, it's so cute. I'm holding tights because I'm about to put them on, not because I'm being weird. So cute. I never wear dresses like this, but I actually really love it. It's got this really cute little like under layer. So you can swish and there's literally no bum on show. It's great. So cute. I really love it. So me and Lauren were slightly worried at first that this would look slightly too like Angel Nativity Play. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like it. I think it's cute. I think the tie to tie the waist the longer it gets so depending on your height you can kind of make it work and if you were even shorter than me you can kind of like pull it up tie pull it that kind of vibe so yeah there's there's definitely options it's great that it has a tie waist um i think it makes it a little bit easier for everyone really cute I haven't done the back up because i need to get in and out of this really easily but yeah i really like it i haven't worn a sequin dress in ages that's nice. I just love the way it shines. I think like at an actual like party, that would look amazing. <laughs> so this one is really nice. I don't know if I need to keep it. I've got a lot of like black dresses already that are quite dressy, but I really like the fit and the shape of this. I also really like the fact that it's ruched all around like the bum and your hips as well. So it just kind of, it's very flattering and I feel like you could eat a lot of food in this and not feel too self-conscious of it. Okay, I really like this. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. It's longer than I would normally go for by maybe like an inch, not too much. I wouldn't normally go for a smock dress either, but I love the sleeves on this. I love the way it feels. It's so cute and I think, especially for like any kind of meal where you're eating a lot, so like Christmas day, Boxing day, this, is so perfect because food baby who? No, there isn't one. I have abs on it and that is the official party line and we don't question it, even though I have a permanent food baby right now. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it at food baby. <laughs> <laughs> food baby says what? <laughs> So yeah, basically you can hide a food baby under this really well. So yeah, it would look cute with slippers, socks, flats, but it also looks really cute with a nude heel. So I thought I would show you these. These are from June. I think this color is sold out, but the black are still in stock, but so cute. I know. And uh, yeah, I love this. That is where I'm gonna leave this. So I'm gonna keep the white dress definitely the first black dress and i'm still kind of making up my mind about the white sequin dress you'll see because i'm gonna do a what i'm wearing over christmas video Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so yeah i will show you what i'm wearing over christmas in that but yeah i'm gonna go now I need to sort my life out today um so i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i will see you guys again on wednesday by the time you see this for another vlogmas Love you, bye.